In this RHC technical video, we'll demonstrate how to install Profiled Wall Base. As with all flooring products, Profiled Wall Base will need to be acclimated to the service temperature in which the areas will be maintained when the building is occupied. The acclimation temperature should be attained at least 48 hours before installation, during installation, and afterward for the service life of the installation. For this installation, we will be using 30 ounce cartridges of the Excelsior WB600 adhesive, a caulking gun, along with the Cove Base applicator nozzle. WB600 is a solvent-free, high-performance acrylic wet-set adhesive specifically designed for permanent installation of rubber, TPR, and vinyl wall-based products on vertical surfaces. First, check the corners of the room for squareness. Use shims to even out any wall discrepancies. Make sure walls are flat, clean, and smooth. Today, we'll be installing the profiled wall base in a room that has standard 90 degree inside and outside corners, allowing the use of the D-cut machine. This tool works extremely well when walls have 45 degree or 90 degree corners. Measure your first section of wall. Mark the base piece and cut with a D-cut machine. Be sure to hold the material flat and firm as the blade goes through the material. After the first piece of base is cut, apply the adhesive using the appropriate tip or spreader. When applying the adhesive, leave a small amount of room at the top and bottom of the wall base to allow for expansion of the adhesive. Place the profiled wall base into position, making sure to line up seams or corners accurately before pressing into place. Use a wet rag to wipe off any excess glue, and then roll the wall base with a hand roller to ensure a secure seal. It's also good practice to periodically pull back a piece of the wall base before the rolling process to make sure you're achieving good adhesive coverage. On long walls with multiple pieces, factory edges may not always be clean enough to butt together. It's recommended to recut at an angle and do an overlap bevel seam. This method conceals the seam much better. For outside corner installation, we recommend using a small bead of liquid superglue or Excelsior C630 contact cement where the corner pieces meet for extra adhesion. Apply the WB600 to the wall base and then add a small bead of super glue right before installation. Hold the corner piece together for a minute as the super glue dries. To fine tune this installation, use a color matching caulk to fill in any gaps in the corners or at the top or bottom of the wall base system. Be sure to rub the caulk into the gap areas and then use a wet cloth to remove any excess. It's always a good idea to have a tube of the color match caulk on hand for these types of situations.